I'm going to install the guest editions in VirtualBox. So you just go up to the devices and then go down to insert the guest edition CD. Now you won't see anything here. So you need to go to the folder for File Explorer and we'll go to this PC. Now what it's done is it's replaced the uh, ISO file that I've mounted for my operating system with the guest editions uh, CD. So all I have to do is double click on it. Now sometimes if you double click on it and it doesn't uh, open properly, then you can just right click on it and choose open. Now once I have done that, I'm going to choose the 64 bit. So hardly anybody uses x86, which is the old 32 bit. Um, so you're probably not going to want to use this one. You want to use the 64, the AMD 64. And it doesn't matter if you're using Intel or AMD, it's still going to be the AMD 64. So my pop-up is kind of hidden below there. I'll just go ahead and click on it, click Next, choose the default locations, choose the default options, and let it run installation. Now you're going to see it blink when the video adapter drivers are put in. That's okay. Just ignore it. It usually blinks twice. And then once it's done, you'll likely get prompted to restart. I skipped past the portion where it blinked a couple of times, but that may happen to you. And now I'm being prompted to reboot, so I'll click Finish. Now, this may also happen to you if you had VirtualBox 6 and you upgraded to VirtualBox 7. You may need to upgrade to the new guest editions. So if you did do a recent upgrade, make sure you go in and just perform what I just did. Put in the guest edition CD by pressing the Devices menu and choosing that option and then running through the installation. And unfortunately, you'll have to do that for every virtual machine that was on version 6 that's now on version 7. Now my virtual machine has restarted. So I'm going to test out by logging in. And it's booted in. One of the nice things about guest editions is you can move back and forth between the virtual machine and the desktop. It doesn't lock you in to the, the mouse into the operating system. And you can always tell if you haven't installed guest editions because when you click inside the operating system and you try to move away, it just get, it gets stuck at the border and you have to press the right control key to get it to release. But since I have installed the guest editions, I can move back and forth. So that's how you install the guest editions in VirtualBox 7.